Good morning, John. John nice Torres is a producer uh, of the film Nervous Translation, Nervous Translation. from uh, Philippines, Philippines, made by Shirin Seno. Yes. Uh, I think we can say the secret that Shirin is your wife and yes. she cannot be with us Not because... Not a secret. <laughs> <laughs> For it would have been more interesting if it were public a secret. secret. Yeah. And <laughs> Uh, she cannot join us at the festival because she's uh, eight expecting months. your baby. Eight months, as opposed to the earlier pronouncement that she was nine months pregnant. Okay. I wouldn't be here if she were <laughs> nine months pregnant, but she's eight months. And, okay, so uh, congratulations uh, to bo you. both. <laughs> Uh, this is your uh, actually first project with Shirin uh, as a film, uh, your pr producer for the first time? Actually, no. Um, her first film I also produced, oh, you but did? Uh, okay. it was, it was uh, a 2012 film, yes. I think, um, and also screened here. Yes, you are not uh, unknown for Rotterdam because uh, also the film was supported by Hubert Balsfons yes, and yes. Uh, Cinemat. And Cinemat, which we're very glad to have uh, been partners of, um, they've been very supportive, both Cinemart and Hubert Boss and opening doors for us and developing. Um, if it weren't for, for their help, um, we would have waited much, much longer for this to finish. Mm -hmm. And so we're greatly indebted not only to them, but also to Rotterdam Festival for, for being especially our, our home. We only consider our home festival. Mm -hmm. We are completely at home Thank here. Thank you. It's nice to hear. And anyway, congratulations that Shirin's film is uh, in the com main uh, Hivos um, Tiger competition. Okay. Um, so the film is uh, follows. It's a, uh, actually a s sort of mixture of a study of a little girl uh, mm. in the historical period of the 1980s. Mm. Okay. And as I've read, it's a partially uh, an autobiographical story yeah. of <laughs> Shireen. Maybe you can tell us a little yeah. bit more about it. She, she's, uh, Shireen is very deeply personal as a filmmaker, and she draws from personal stories. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily accurate stories, but <laughs> she's more interested with uh, also the memories of other people's memories, like for in this case, memories of family. Mm -hmm. uh, or uh, a what if situation actually because although she tackles in nervous translation the the moments a child is in the house in the 80s mm -hmm. this um, she never was um, born and, and she never she didn't grow, grow up in the Philippines she actually was born okay. in the in the in Japan in Tokyo and grew up there alone also okay. um, as her mom was uh, an international school teacher mm -hmm. and her dad was also having his own job in odd jobs actually okay. um, so both of them are somehow absent in the household um, and in nervous translation it was it, it, it set in the late 80s mm -hmm. uh, just at a time when our in a political situation we, we have our new democracy um, Ferdinand Marcos our dictator yes. for 20 years Mm -hmm. when we had a long period of martial law, was expelled at this time. And now we have the promise of expressing ourselves through this new democracy, a new promise of, you know, freely expressing ourselves. And this is at a time when we're not quite sure if, you know, how, how do we deal with uh, this option of expression. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, Shireen turns everything very personal mm -hmm. um, in, in, in the film. We have fragments of people's presences, for example, um, a father who is never there because we're, he's working abroad. Yes, um, Saudi but Arabia. Saudi something. Arabia, and mm -hmm. I personally um, have this personal experience of l listening to other people's voices to come into our house, having our cassette tape player mm -hmm. at that time, <laughs> and have them speak about their lives. Mm -hmm. Uh, and these are all just voices. It's very fascinating. Uh, I saw it for the first time. I, I never realized uh, of this this kind of communication. Yeah, it's a fascinating format also because um, you're free to really express yourself. There's no there's no format. Uh -huh. There's um, when I what I mean by that is you can freely just just a, sing a song yeah. or uh, read out a let, love letter. Mm -hmm. It can get very, very sensual mm -hmm. and also funny. Mm -hmm. um, there's also role-playing involved. Mm 
for example, you also the the other partner who is who is at home will have the kids also um, perform for mm -hmm. the one who is not yes, there. Yes, yes. Um, in return, aside from the uh, cassette tapes, mm -hmm. we also have big boxes of gifts from the we, parents. We saw it, the big. Uh, yeah, so so <laughs> <laughs> it's called balik bayan box. Balik bayan means to return mm -hmm. home. Okay. They never really return home. Just the boxes of all these toys and, and, and mm -hmm. other other technology related items that come to the Philippines. So in a sort of consumption uh, society already yes. starting there. <laughs> yeah, so this was at a time when of course we didn't have internet. Um, mm -hmm. These ghosts of presences also that come in and this is how we sort of saw uh, the family family situation mm -hmm. and until now because um, until now the Philippine economy is heavily indebted to to the overseas Filipino workers yes. who there, spend ev uh, everywhere I've been to yes. Middle East and there is a lot of Filipino ladies yes. uh, <laughs> working there yes. so it's uh, it's a sort of a shift uh, you said in the 80s there was an absence of fathers. Fathers and, and, and mothers nowadays, also sometimes. Mothers, but yes. nowadays it's uh, many mothers leaving their home for to earn money. Yes. And leaving their children behind probably with grandparents or something. Yes, exactly. Yeah. In the, in, but some, a few other families have left um, their own children at home alone. So Alone even? Yeah, yeah but, but that's in the Philippine setting I have it's it's not the the it's it's more of an exception than the rule. Okay. Uh, but yeah. Um, so nowadays the modern world because the, they can discuss with their mothers uh, through Skype or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that's also a, a little bit of an interesting yeah. thing now that we're seeing. So so Shireen, um has this um, effort to want to also come to grips with the memory of how she yeah. or he. Uh, she um, was um, trying to express to adequately, cope yes, uh, 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 in her childhood until when she was in grade school, mm -hmm. they would, from Japan, they would travel to the Philippines for summer vacation okay. and she would um, feel very uncomfortable about other people looking at her differently because they mm -hmm. felt that she looked foreign to them oh, really? and so she didn't really quite fit in she wanted to, to remain invisible and because she was very visible to at least to other people was, mm -hmm. who were seeing her um, there was also the t tension to how do I communicate with one another to, to other people mm -hmm. uh, so yeah with, with the film this was the main atmosphere mm -hmm. of how you know one deals with mm -hmm. things inside and the uh, disjunct of the of seeing and observing things outside, how we make connections. Yeah, it's beautiful how she captured the atmosphere and also the inner world of the girl, mm. as she does it with these uh, big shots of, of, of how a child sees yeah. uh, the, the world. Like, she's actually, most of the film in the house itself, so yeah. it's her universe in there, but it's beautifully... Uh, yes. Um, expressed. Uh, she she's aside from being a filmmaker, she's an artist, a photographer, she's uh, and so me. Even when when we were dating before, we would take short stops along the road mm -hmm. for her to take out her camera and look at for me very ordinary things like a leaf mm -hmm. or a branch <laughs> or yes. a tree, yes. uh, which I didn't find any magic okay. at that time. But once I see the prints of the of the photographs that mm -hmm. she she's made, I'm I'm immediately you know captivated by yeah. all all this. So that was the that main. That you can see in the film <laughs> totally. In, so that's what we can expect from um, if, if for those who are haven't watched the film, mm -hmm. uh, a totally sensitive and very specific view yeah. from a child, which I think. She was very, very successful and very, 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 very proud that um, she made this in her own terms. Aside from the complicating factor that she was also pregnant, which posed a lot of limitations, I think. Um, 
And what about the character of Yael, the, the little girl who is playing her? Mm -hmm. I think she's excellent. I don't know if it's a natural talent or is it thanks to Shirin or both? <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, the, the actress Yael uh, was eight years old indeed, and the character is eight years old, so there was nothing that could stop us from um, freeing the imagination of a child expressing herself in front of the camera. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Uh, in fact, um, we learned a lot about the eight-year-old child, mm -hmm. how, what things they are capable of really expressing now and mm -hmm. thinking about. Um, this this uh, this this actor uh, wha uh, is a, is a, an active uh, TV t uh, soap um, actress. Okay. okay. Um, so she's very well trained and very intelligent and very sharp. Um, and in between takes, she didn't have much of a challenge expressing herself mm -hmm. and so the challenge was really to how we could turn uh, make steps backward and show the the difficulty of someone who has mm -hmm. more difficulties um, expressing herself so we kind of put her in a mix of very relaxed situations so that she mm -hmm. could turn to herself and her inner world at moments in between shooting mm -hmm and have this code with our cinematographer and camera operator to just roll mm -hmm. when we see her on her own and having her own yeah, yeah, yeah. play in oh, her mind. Nice. And we were, we were happy that uh, we included around 20% or 30% of those in-between moments. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Yes. So a lot of the film was actually uh, being made in the editing room. Uh, yes, uh, but... Um, um, we really wanted to make space for this mm -hmm. because although we had a script for it, we wanted things and moments to be alive for yes. a child to authentically live okay. in, in, in the making of the film mm -hmm. uh, so that everything would be more natural and more organic. Yeah, it um, felt very yeah. natural and organic. But um, there, because she was a TV actor, she okay. also had to unlearn a few habits that would be good for TV but not so well translated mm -hmm. in the in the big screen so we put her in sort of more uncomfortable situations to deaden the some emotion some um, uh, instances wherein mm -hmm. she goes to her shortcuts in terms of the craft of acting mm -hmm. um, but w one 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 very specific thing was that she was more natural. She wasn't really posing in front of the screen whenever she was a little bit more tired in terms okay. of, <laughs> of... And, and that, that, that meant that um, we really ha had to spend time with really looking at um, um, sp specific takes wherein she wasn't really performing. Mm -hmm. But she was kind of also tired and very, very unsure of her own self. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> so, so her tone of deli delivery, we had this very specific um, thing we were looking for in terms of the melody of her voice, for example, mm -hmm. to have a sort of a monotone. Yeah. Um, and which, which I think as adults we've learned to forget about. Uh, you know, um, when when not really emotion that we that we deaden, but um, the delivery of the the enthusiasm sometimes of how we express things, and it was it was um, very very nice also because um, in the film she would have the challenge of trying to sound like her father, yeah. an adult. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this with the repetition of the text that the father sent the. On the cassette. Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. So, so you, we can say that the film is mm, also more or less not only the personal story of Shirin, mm -hmm. but uh, expressing a certain uh, period and feelings of the certain generation sure. uh, that yes. can uh, recognize uh, themselves. Uh, exactly. And uh, so, in that sense, we hope the film be, will be successful in the uh, Philippines uh, as well. Yes, um, I think um, it speaks of a generation of us, especially my age and maybe Gen, Gen X or Gen Y, um, who have grown up 
but lived in this time of the 80s wherein we are free to express ourselves but what where do we begin yeah. we begin with family we begin with looking at how other people still correspond to each other in intimate mm -hmm. moments in yeah those those intimate moments are very beautiful in the film also. <laughs> uh, tell me please, what is this fascination uh, about English language and, and, uh, and some foreign products and everything? Ah, okay. Of course, um, yes, um, we, were, we, we were a colony of the Americans for 40 years mm -hmm. and the Americans set up an education system yes. wherein the, the language of instruction also was, was English and so even up to now, um, People are taught English, okay, even and it cuts across. Uh, official languages. Uh, the, the national language is Filipino language. Yes. Um, but in schools, uh, we also have sometimes more subjects to learn in English. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so that is that answers the, that part of mm -hmm. the English language. But um, more than that, the image of the Americans and, and the and the the foreigner, the beautiful foreigner mm -hmm. and you know um, this is what what ha we've been um, seeing as standards of beauty for example yes. so in terms of the comforts of life also aside from the Americans it's the Japanese also actually who oh, really? who, 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 who we look at in terms of the technology mm -hmm. of, of how we express ourselves for example um, I don't know if it's actually uh, uh, Japanese um, creation, the karaoke, where we sing mm -hmm. songs, the minus one. I think it's very Asian. <laughs> it's, 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 yeah, it's, Filipinos really love to sing. Yeah. And um, we see sing. It in many Asian films. So. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Shireen, of course, was also, um, grew up in Japan, so she knows a lot about the technology mm -hmm. aspect of, of this. And um, this was also her. Um, fascination, for example, the mini cooking toys. Oh, that was beautiful. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so more than more than actually the the toy, um, mm. it's more a look into how children hopefully um, amuse themselves when they're alone. Mm -hmm. um, I'm trying to think of a film that so beautifully captured uh, <laughs> children's child soul. I don't remember. Maybe uh, of the Czech. Uh, Animated master uh, Jan ah, Schwankmeier, yeah. who did uh, Alice in Wonderland, <laughs> if you remember that, that yes. a little bit, maybe a yeah. strange co uh, comparison, but uh, it's, it's good also that he's he's doing a talk here in, yes. in Rotterdam. Yes. Um, I just <laughs> got his uh, film Insect. Yes. Uh, so it's, it's fascinating and I, I can see the... Fantastic. <laughs> you can meet him in person. Oh, uh, John, I, I would like to thank you so much uh, for mm -hmm. joining us for this conversation. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, we'll have to wrap up. Uh, thank you so much uh, for coming to Rotterdam and presenting the film. Good luck with the film. Mm -hmm. And we will uh, we can together wave to Shirin as did Bero Bayer, the director of the <laughs> festival during the opening. <laughs> Bye. 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 <laughs> Hi, Shireen. Thank you, Rotterdam. Hi, Shireen. Thank you. <laughs>